I was able to get a heat gun. So now I'm going to strip the finish off of this body. And uh, we have about two and a half feet of snow outside. And it's snowing again right now. We're supposed to get another probably three or four or five inches. And in a good New England form, I have my uh, big gigantic iced coffee. So I am all set to strip the body, strip the uh, finish off of this. I got a heat gun, as you can see, hanging there. And again, New England Yankee ingenuity. I have a little rig with a paper clip and things to hang it on just because the metal end, the barrel, does get really, really hot. I, you know, test it out. It gets really hot. And this way I can hang it on there. You know, obviously turn it off, hang it on there, and not worry about it burning anything or melting anything or whatever while I use, if I need, two hands to sort of pry up the finish. So, let's uh, set this camera here. And we will get to work. I have no idea how long this takes to melt the finish. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try an edge here where it's underneath the pickguard, where it's going to be covered, just in case if there's an issue or a problem. You know, I have no idea. Uh, I do understand, I researched a little bit, that it... I don't know how easy it is, but it is definitely possible to scorch the wood. So, you know, I don't know about that. Uh, I certainly I don't want to scorch the wood, but uh, I'll get my coffee out of the way. Uh, but if I'm going to scorch it, you know, I'm going to paint it anyway. But if I'm going to scorch it, you know, I'll sort of test it out underneath where the pick guard's going to be anyway. So let's give this a try. Uh, I guess I'll try it on low and see what happens. So as you can see, it's, well, you can't see it's blowing hot air, but uh, it was sort of turning orange inside here when it heats up. You know, it's yeah, definitely getting hotter. It takes a minute to heat up, and it is kind of smelly. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to put it on there for a minute or so. And I'm going to use the corner of this uh, scraper. Of course, I want to be careful that as I'm peeling up the finish, which, again, researching it, my understanding is that if I'm doing this right, it'll peel up in pretty much, you know, big chunks, because this is like a plastic. So I want to make sure that as I'm prying it up, digging in, you know, whatever, scraping it, the corners are not gouging the wood. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely. I can see if I press a corner on the finish, it doesn't really do much. If I do it here, I can actually dent the finish. So maybe low heat will be enough. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, he's definitely denting the finish. Hmm. You know what? Okay, I'm going to kick it up to high. Is it orange yet? Oh yeah, look at that, it's turning all orange. Okay. And it's actually no more smelly than just the heat gun itself. You know, like I said, I tested out the heat gun. And it was a little bit smelly. You know, it's getting pretty hot. It's burning whatever in there, dust, whatever. Oh, a little tiny chip came off. Oh, it's definitely softening it a lot. It 
So I would guess that once I get a corner up, I should be able to sort of peel it easier and, you know, with the heat gun in one hand and this in the other. Okay, I can definitely smell it a little, the finish a little funky. Oh yeah, see, look at that. It does peel up. Yeah, it's not so bad. It'll take a little time. Okay, I think it cools down somewhat fast. Okay, yeah, see, it did dig into the wood a little bit. The wood's pretty soft. So, yeah, let's keep going. So, you know what? I was putting the pieces in here just so that uh, it wouldn't make a huge mess to clean up later. But you know what? I don't want to melt. You know, a big pile of finish in there, and then have to remove all of that. So, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, this kind of making a big old mess. Should I rethink my situation? A friend of mine told me not to strip the finish off of it. He said it's just way too much work and it's not necessary. I don't know. Now maybe I'm thinking uh, you could be right. This is pretty hot, the air is coming out, so you definitely want to, oh, I don't know what that is, you definitely want to be careful that you're not uh, getting your hand right in there, you know, I mean, I can go like that, and I definitely feel it heating up, it's not like it's, you know, my hand's going to go in, it's going to blister the skin or anything, but you do kind of want to be careful. Hmm. Oh, it's blistering right up. Oh yeah, and it's totally scorching the wood. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to reassess the situation here. Yeah, wow, that totally scorched the wood. Okay, you know what? It's a bust. But, I can, I can jump over whatever hurdles they may be. So, ooh, it smells. Okay, so it's a bust. We're not going to strip the body. So, my friend, Dave, you were totally right. So, we're going to leave it. And, uh... You know, we'll just we'll just deal with it. You know, I mean, uh, my recollection... It's a very light body. My recollection is a cuckoo clock. We'll wait for that.
This piece of the finish. It's fairly brittle. Yeah, wow. Okay. Um, so it's a fairly light body. Uh, it was two pounds, a little over two pounds, nine ounces, almost two pounds, ten ounces, uh, which is really light. And my recollection was that it was uh, a pretty decent sounding guitar when it was all in one piece. Uh, I believe it was a first act, I think I had mentioned. And uh, it, you know, sounded decent. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the pickups in it. Uh, the neck on it wasn't my thing at all. Uh, you know, nothing really inherently wrong with the neck. It's just it. Um, it just wasn't my thing. So we're just gonna leave it, and uh, the next job is I'm gonna sand a bit, and uh, then we'll be finishing it and painting it red. So, sorry that this was kind of a bust, but what are you going to do? Just a quick update. I checked some, you know, YouTube videos, and the stuff in the videos just peels right up. And this was really just chipping and, you know, just not really doing what I wanted it to do at all. So, I just wanted to check to make sure that this is an actual poly finish, like an actual like plastic polymer, you know, whatever you want to call it, finish. So I took some paint thinner, put a couple of drops on a spot right here that is like glass smooth. You know, like I was sort of looking where the light hits it, and it's like glass. So I put a few drops. I let it sit there for, oh, like 15 minutes. I mean, it, it pretty much all but dissolved. I, I'm sorry, all but uh, evaporated. And then I just wiped it all nice and smooth, and it is still completely glass smooth. So if this was uh, any sort of uh, so traditional finish, the paint thinner would have, at the very least, dulled it. But it really, it did absolutely nothing to it. So my suspicion that it was a poly finish is confirmed. It is definitely a poly finish. So, oh well, what are you going to do?